Hello everyone, my name is Kende Fawu. The Feed One Project has been a project that I started um, in 2012 and the vision originally actually came when I wrote a book called Tomorrow's Realities Today and in the book I had the writing um, that for every copy that I sell I will feed one less privileged person so after selling a couple of um, hundreds of the book I decided to do a project right to fulfill my promise and that was how Feedback Project started and over the years we've been able to reach out to lots of people right um, and orphanages, prisons and villages we've been able to reach out with food items, with clothing, with all kinds of resources um, and in recent times we started also combining that with some motivational workshops and seminars because we felt like um, it's, it's not just enough to give people things but we should also teach them how to get things um, by themselves. Mm -hmm. So my team and I decided that we needed to do something different, something unique, something that actually meets the specific needs of different families. And in the past, we would normally go for the numbers, we want to reach as many people as possible. But this time around, we decided to um, just work with a few families, right? And to be able to you know, reach out to them in a very meaningful way and in a more quality way, right? So that we do more things for them and make this season a rememberable one for them. Actually, we called it a Christmas to remember because of that. And that King of Me um, was recommended by the son who really wants to celebrate his own mother. Um, and according to, 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 to the son, she has been a strong, strong pillar in his life. And, even when she doesn't have much um, to, to give, right? She, grew, she she went the extra mile, you know, to provide for her family and to just to just make things. Work. So anyways, um, the son wanted to celebrate that. So what we decided to do was to hire a music band to play live in a mini concert for her. And she was just dancing. I'm sure you probably would see the video now. She was just dancing, you know, all over the place. And she was just, really um you know glad what made it so interesting was that our volunteers was also just dancing along with her and then there was so much joy in the room then Um, and then there was um, Fatima and Fatima, I just tell you shortly the story um, of Fatima. Fatima is a widow um, with three children who hardly had enough you know, for herself and she's a retired nurse, um, well known in the community. So, what touches about Fatima is that she is, um, is a widow and she's needy herself and she goes out of her way to help her community and to you know nourish them, take care of them medically and just to give herself in service to other people and we felt like this kind of person needs to be remembered and needs to be nourished as well. That was what we did. Um, when she received that, she started crying you know i remember um, getting on the phone with her and just having a video call with her and she was just lost for words and she was telling me just thank you thank you i'm sure the words 
but thank you. I'm really short of words, but thank you. And those words, you know, they went so deep into me that I couldn't just but be glad that we were able to go into our home. Look here, mommy. You know you are not expecting this, are you? Of course I'm not. I accommodated a copper. He was introduced to me from that school. Can you imagine? They have to increase my house rent. Because they you thought I, I submitted him to be mm -hmm. home. Uh -huh. From 170,000 to 50,000. 50,000 uh -huh. 50, was increment. I also have a grown children. I'm not there with them, but God is with them. Yeah, yeah. And what, what, what I'm doing to people here, they are likewise receiving it. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever you make happen for others, God, God is always there to make for you, man. Keep up the good work. And then there was Obina. <laughs> you know, Obina's story was one of the stories we first received. Um, and it touched us so deeply. Um, this is a cripple, born cripple, and I've been able to work her, you know, his self um, to owning a shoemaking business. And um, she has, you know, or he has a business of his own and has two kids actually. And, you know, the fact that he could manage with that situation to make something out of himself, and the fact that he could. Um, you know, take care of himself and his own kids just touching to us. But then we realized that we got to know that his wheelchair was now broken and he had to crawl through water and on the floor, you know, to his shop and back to the house every single day. That really got to us. And we decided to say that we will do all the expenses and buy him a brand new wheelchair. And that was what we did. So when we got there, so interestingly, it was uh, Mobina was also recommended by one of our volunteers. So when we got to his place, he was completely shocked, right? And I mean, what would you expect? And he was deeply grateful for that. I got on the phone, on the phone with Mobina, and he was just in full of joy and blushing, and, and and that was such a beautiful sight to behold. Mr. Ajayi's story is quite. An interesting one. Um, he has an eye problem and um, actually blind, and we didn't know the details of that um, earlier on. We only knew that he had a high problem, right? So we decided, of course, to give him money as we did to um, a lot of other beneficiaries as well. Um, but then, uh, normally, the process of logistics around that was that I was sending you know the transfers from here in Germany, I got the account details. And then we transfer it like in instantly to them so that they could just receive it you know, immediately. So um, there was an error in the first transaction I made, and then I made a second one. And we realized that actually the money was sent twice. So now he has double what we had planned to give to him. But Mr. Jai was so kind enough to want to immediately return it to us. Um, but then, me thinking about that and coupled with the fact that. He had um, a more intense uh, problem than we imagined. We decided to ask him to keep everything. And he was so deeply grateful for that and had to do a video for us to say thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Ikukichuku, um, I mean, similar to Mr. Jai, is also a blind person. And but what, what touched us about him is his energy, his um, positivity. And he's someone that preaches, you know, is a Christian 
and he preaches about Jesus Christ, you know, to the community and bosses and all that. And he's really making a lot of positive impact in the lives of people, helping them to define how they should um, live for a higher purpose than just themselves, right? And we felt like this is someone that needs to be appreciated. So when we got to um, his home, he was so full of joy and started singing songs and praising and singing all kinds of things. And he was just lifting his hands and, and that was such a beautiful thing.